Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead, and welcome to the show. You can find me right here every Monday through Friday, where we are going to get encouraged, get filled up, and grow closer to the Lord. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button to get notified every time a new episode of Daily Devo goes live. Well, welcome to November. We have a new theme this month, which is naturally thankfulness. I'm excited to share this month's Daily Devos with you. It is one of my favorite months of the year. Don't forget, you can get your Daily Devo t-shirts, your coffee cups, stickers, tote bags, and more, all at WhitneyMead.com. Now, let's get down to business. I've struggled with depression and anxiety off and on throughout my entire adult life. I heard a pastor share a message a few weeks ago that really frustrated me because he said something to the effect of, if it's big enough to be anxious about, it's big enough to pray about. Hashtag, of course. As most Christians who experience these two things would tell you, we do pray about it. I wish I could just say a prayer and my anxiety would disappear into thin air sometimes. Wouldn't that be just wonderful? Instead, I'm often balled up on the couch or on my bedroom floor just crying out to Jesus, please lift this from me, Lord. Take this away from me. Instead of immediately lifting it, he often lets it linger. Not forever though, but long enough that I can learn some practical, real life steps on how to combat anxiety. One of those steps I have found is cultivating a heart of thankfulness and gratitude. When I'm so focused on my own problems, I forget all of the wonderful things that I have going on at the same time. You know, this is one of the biggest lessons I've learned over the past few years, that two opposing things like joy and sadness or abundance and lack or grief and joy and happiness, can it coexist at the same time? We can experience those things at the same time. So I don't have to forcefully push my anxiety aside If you have anxiety, you know that just pushing it aside doesn't work anyways. But what I can do is shift my focus. I let that anxiety exist, but then I choose to shift my focus to the things I'm grateful for, the things I'm grateful for, the things I'm grateful for instead. I may be anxious about my children, but I'm also thankful for the gift of their sweet little hearts in my life. I may be anxious about work, but then I'm thankful for the work that I do have. I may be anxious about aging and my health, but then I'm thankful for the 33 beautiful years I've been gifted so far and that the Lord has seen fit to keep me alive and keep me well. Do you see where I'm going with this? I challenge you to shift your focus today. Instead of focusing on that anxiety, look towards the things that you're thankful for and watch as God begins to take the boulders one by one by one off of your shoulders. You will actually feel a real physical lightness. For more on combating depression and anxiety, you can check out my best-selling Amazon book, The Balance Beam, One Woman's Life-Changing Guide to Eliminating Stress, Anxiety, and Overwhelm. I'll leave a link underneath this video. Let's close out our morning with a scripture. This is Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, With thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.
God bless you today, my friend. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you bright and early Monday morning.